Brought to you by Wikivd Documentaries. 2017 America's Cup The 2017 America's Cup is the 35th edition of the America's Cup yacht race. It is being held in June 2017 and is contested between the Challenger Emirates Team New Zealand and the Defender Oracle Team USA. It was preceded by the 2015-16 America's Cup World Series. It is Oracle's second defense of the America's Cup, four years after its first successful defense. The races are conducted using hydrofoiling AC-50 America's Cup class yachts, which are slightly larger than the AC-45F yachts used in the World Series. Venue the 2017 America's Cup course is located on the Great Sound in Bermuda. In June 2014, media reported the venue of the 34th America's Cup, San Francisco, was no longer in consideration to host the 35th edition. San Diego, Chicago, and Bermuda were listed as being still in the running. In July 2014, AmericasCup.com reported that Chicago was dropped from the running. And finally on 2 December 2014, Bermuda was announced as the host of the 2017 America's Cup. The premier of Bermuda, Michael Dunkley, welcomed the teams, sponsors, and spectators at a press conference in New York. The financial package included in the bid by Bermuda is worth approximately $77 million, which includes a $15 million sponsorship fee, $25 million infrastructure improvement spending, $12 million operating costs, and a $25 million guarantee against commercial sponsorship. Dr. Grant Gibbons, Bermuda's Minister for Economic Development, has stated that the America's Cup has a possibility of generating revenue of up to $250 million in Bermuda. Challenger of Record On 1 October 2013, Australia's Hamilton Island Yacht Club was confirmed as the Challenger of Record for the 35th America's Cup. After submitting their paperwork only moments after the wine by Oracle Team USA, the HIYC challenge was accepted by the Golden Gate Yacht Club, who was the defender and trustee of the America's Cup. Australian businessman Bob Oatley, founder of Rosemount and owner of famed Super Maxi Yacht Wild Oats, she was confirmed to be the main financial backer of the Hamilton Island Yacht Club Challenge. On 19 July 2014 Russell Coots, director of the America's Cup Event Authority, announced that the Hamilton Island Yacht Club had withdrawn Team Australia from the 35th America's Cup. Team Australia claimed that the entry fee rules agreed two in the official protocol created too much risk due to the uncertainty of the then unknown venue and schedule of the event. The Challenger of Record Committee represents all of the challenger's interests and negotiates with Oracle over mutual concerns. Luna Rossa replaced HIYC as the Challenger of Record. In April 2015, Luna Rossa withdrew its challenge bid pulling out of the 2017 America's Cup in protest at rule changes reducing the size of the boats. Rule changes On 5 June 2014, it was announced that the regatta would be sailed in 62-foot-long foiling catamarans, the AC-62. The entry fee was $3 million. Each challenging team could only build one boat while Oracle Team USA could build two. A nationality rule was agreed, requiring 25% of the crew to be from the entry's country. This nationality rule had been lifted prior to the 2003 America's Cup. The rules specified the size of each sailor, which must average 87.5 kg. 
the neutral international adjudicating yachting panel was dropped in favor of a three-man panel appointed by the defender. In March 2015, the teams voted to reduce the size of the boats to the 45- to 50-foot range, leading to the withdrawal in protest of Luna Rossa. This in turn led to a joint statement from four teams attacking Team New Zealand which had supported Luna Rossa. Teams The America's Cup is contested by Oracle Team USA, who represent the Golden Gate Yacht Club, and Emirates Team New Zealand, who defeated the other four challengers to win the 2017 Louis Vuitton Cup. Luna Rossa withdrew over concerns over the changes to the America's Cup class design. Team Australia withdrew over cost concerns. Technology Teams were allowed to take one design AC-45s out of measurement by modifying cross beams, wings, and rudders, adding hydraulic systems, as well as produce a maximum of six custom daggerboards to test on the existing platform ahead of building their race boat. All teams took advantage of this opportunity. Oracle Racing modified three AC 45s, selling their first development boat to SoftBank Team Japan as part of their technology sharing agreement and subsequently conducted a two-boat testing program with the last two boats. Land Rover Bar modified three AC-45s and conducted a two-boat testing program with the last two boats. Artemis Racing modified two AC-45s and conducted a two-boat program with them. Groupama Team France and Team New Zealand both modified one AC-45 each. Team New Zealand also modified SL-33 foiling wing sail catamarans to try new ideas for its race boat, in which they produced a number of distinct features absent from other boats in the fleet. The two double-handed grinding pedestals on their development AC-45 were replaced by four cycling stations. Peter Burling was the only helmsman to be relieved of dagger board controls in order to focus on steering only. Instead cycler Blair Duke undertook dagger board deployment, trim, and overall responsibility of pitch angle and ride height. Dagger boards were lengthier than those of other teams. By virtue of a distinct dihedral bend in the middle of the hydrofoil tip, the rise in foiling catamarans encouraged competing teams to enter into technical partnerships with companies specializing in aerospace technologies. Land Rover Bar allied with Red Bull Advanced Technologies, headed by 10-time Formula One World Constructors Championship car designer Adrian Newey. Oracle Team USA entered a technical partnership with Airbus. Artemis Racing allied with high-performance engineering giant Cosworth. Luna Rossa Challenge had partnered with Lenovo to analyze and predict race simulations were assisting in the design of their boat. Cup Match Races are held from 17 June. The first team to seven points wins and becomes the defender of the America's Cup, due to Oracle Team USA's win in the America's Cup qualifiers, Team New Zealand started the match with a score of 1. The first race of the day is scheduled each time at 2 p.m. ADT. Broadcasting One of the attractions in the successful Bermuda bid was its ability to avoid middle-of-the-night live broadcasts in each of the respective team's home countries. Races were held in the late afternoon, Bermuda time, allowing for the broadcast to take place in prime time in Europe, early afternoon in the United States, and early morning in New Zealand. On February 9, 2015, the America's Cup Event Authority announced an agreement with NBC Sports Group 
to broadcast the America's Cup Finals, as well as the America's Cup World Series, along with the America's Cup Qualifier and the Louis Vuitton Cup. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.